Hey, what it do, y'all? It's your boy YouTube Blue coming back at you again on a one time, one time breaking news, y'all. Um, hey, the Carson Wentz era is over in Philadelphia. Oh my god, oh my god. I know, um, there's a couple of guys, uh, cowboy streamers online right now. <laughs> Law, shout out to Law Nation, Mark Holmes, they're all online right now. I didn't do it live because everybody else is live, so I just want to do a video. You guys can see it when you see it, but um. Yeah, breaking news. Um, Carson Wentz is, is done in Philadelphia. He got traded to the Colts for, some people say a ham sandwich, some people say a jar of lotion, what, whatever whatever it is, whatever minuscule thing you can say that he got traded for, he got traded for. Now, I'm going to give you the um, the synopsis of you know everything that's going on and what he got traded for, um, which is really not much. Now, when you consider that Matt Stafford got traded for the farm, literally, like, you know, first round picks and things of that nature. And I'm sure if Deshaun Watson ever gets traded, um, you know, a lot of people are slating him to go to the 49ers. I'm pretty sure it's going to be some first round picks and some players. Now, Carson Woods, is, as you know, is a former uh, first round draft pick of 2016, the same year that Dak came out. Um, he was the second overall pick right behind Jared Goff, which Goff got traded to the Lions. So, um, it, when you look at it right now, the dynamic of everything is crazy. Every quarterback that, that got drafted in 2016 is either has either lost their starting position or got traded. Dak Prescott is the only quarterback in 2016, and he was a fourth round draft pick, picked at 135th, I think, in the draft. Overall, 135th pick. I think he got it tatted on him, too. Because, you know, to remind himself, this is where I came from, and I can only get better, baby. And that's why I love Dak Prescott. But anyway, um, f Dak Prescott is the only quarterback that's out there right now that, that didn't get traded or or um, lost his starting spot. So, Cowboys, you need to sign him. But we'll get back to that. Now, so the Eagles trade uh, Carson Wentz to the Colts for a 21 2021 third round draft pick and a conditional second round draft pick for 2022, which can potentially be a first round pick if Carson Wentz plays 75% of the snaps or he plays 70% of the snaps and the Colts make the playoffs. So either or, right? So if they don't make the playoffs, he has to play 75% of the snaps for them to get for that second round pick to be a conditional first round pick in 2022 for, um, for the uh, Colts. Now, it's crazy. It's crazy. Now, <laughs> they just gave Carson Wentz away. You know, they got rid of Doug Peterson as their coach, and then they got rid of Carson Wentz. I thought that maybe one of them were just going to be gone. Okay, we knew the coach got axed out. He got fired, so maybe they kept Carson Wentz or whatever, blah, 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 and tried to work with him. No, they got rid of Carson Wentz, too, and I guess they got to the point where, as an organization, the Eagles said, you know what, we're done with him. We're going to go ahead and give him away at this point. Here, you want a third-round pick? Conditional second? Fine, fuck it, take it. We don't even want a first-round pick. Like, you could have got a first-round. Well, could they have? I don't know. But where he was drafted at, from his stock value, he should have gotten, they should have gotten, um, the Eagles should have got a first round pick for him. But, you know, they, they pretty much gave him away for a ham sandwich. They gave him away. They gave him away for your lunch. That's pretty much what it is. Um, now, what does this mean as a whole? Like, okay, it's crazy out here. Guys getting traded all over the place. Next season is going to be weird. Um, I know Philly 500 is probably having a cow right now. I know he did a video. Um, I saw a little bit of his video. Um, you know, he's just at this point like, oh, well, he's not here no more. It is what it is. You know, he's he's at the he's at the stage where he's trying to, like, be positive about the situation. But I know Philly 500 is really hurt right now. Because Philly 500 used to talk a lot of shit about Carson Wentz saying that, oh, well, he's the, the what do you call him, the, the, the Dakota assassin or something like that, the... the North Dakota assassin or something like that. He ain't assassinating nothing but being traded. Now, everybody talks about my quarterback, Dak Prescott. And, you know, I just feel like as a fourth-round draft pick, he set the bill. If you would have did this draft over and, and the way that Dak's stats are, he could have been a first-rounder too. But that's just me. Now, um, 
the Colts did make the playoffs last year with Phillip Rivers. Phillip Rivers finally said, forget it. I'm going to retire. Um, I thought he was going to play maybe one more year. But then this also lets me know that the Colts now um, don't really believe in Jacoby Brissett because, you know, he's been waiting to be a starter for a long time. So I know Jacoby's mad. Jacoby's like, okay, well, you know, Andrew Luck retired. I'm like, okay, I can be the starter now. Then all of a sudden, they go and get um, – Phillip Rivers last year, and then he's like, oh, now I'm back to the backup spot. And then Phillip Rivers retired. He's like, oh, I could be the starter again. And then they trade for Wentz, and he's like, oh, so I'm going to be the backup again? Oh. So Jacoby Brissett, I, I kind of feel sorry for him. He kind of lost in this battle. Um, it is what it is. But uh, shout out to Kobe Brissett. <laughs> <laughs> Jacoby Brissett. I know he's probably pissed right now, but you know, that's just more for him to try to battle to try to beat the star. Now, it is Carson Wentz, and we know that Carson Wentz is injury prone, so Jacoby Brissett might can still get that starting spot. So you don't know. You never know. Because again, they traded him for peanuts. So it's really not that big of a deal, I guess. Now, um Carson Wentz might actually do good with the Colts. And reason being, his old offensive coordinator. That when they won the Super Bowl with the Eagles, that was there, Frank Reich. Frank Reich is the offensive coordinator for the Colts. And now that they got Carson Wentz, he's back with his old offensive coordinator. So maybe he could do his old coordinator could do something with him and you know keep him upright and figure some things out. Now, we know that the, when the Eagles did win the Super Bowl, that was when they had all of them. They had Doug Peterson, they had Frank Reich, they had um Jim Schwartz as the defensive coordinator. So when they had the whole team together, things were clicking. Now that he's over with the Colts, the Colts might, I don't know, he might actually do something with them. Who knows? But that means, what does that mean for the Eagles? Well, the young Jalen Hurts has the opportunity to be the starter. Now, unless they trade up in the draft to um, get some picks um, and get a get a starting um, quarterback, I don't know, they can sign Kellen Munn or something or, or, or you know, get one of those quarterbacks like that. But who knows? So I'm pretty sure the Eagles are probably going to draft another quarterback. I'm pretty sure they are. But, you know, with Jalen Hurts being there, I think that um, that helps him as well. Um, yeah, but we'll see what happens. Now, uh, how does this affect Dak Prescott, though? So back to the Cowboys with this situation. Now, I just said at the beginning of the video that Dak Prescott is now the only quarterback for 2016 that has is either has either he's the only quarterback that in left that because everybody else either got traded or they lost their starting spot or they're not in the league at all. <laughs> Christian Hackenberg. <laughs> uh where's Paxton Lynch? <laughs> where's Connor Cook? Those are guys the Cowboys wanted over Dak Prescott. I don't think neither one of them are in the league no more. If they are, they're probably playing a second string or third string for a team. If they are, um, what's the dude that uh, played for the D.C. Defenders, the black quarterback? I keep forgetting his name. Um, he was picked before Dak. He's not even in the league. So, I don't know. The Cowboys need to do something. They need to sign Dak Prescott. I heard some whispers. Well, I heard some talking heads talking about, oh, they should give him a six-year deal. That might be cool because you can give him a six-year deal and pay him 41 42 mil and stretch that money out, and it won't be as big of a cap hit for the Cowboys because it's stretched out over six years. So I'm cool with that. If Dak's cool with a six-year deal, I'm cool with it too because you get your quarterback long-term. You know what you got with Dak. He's still young. He's still in his prime. Um, he, he knows these receivers like nobody's business, um, and he works hard with these guys. This team loves him. You've seen what Blake, Blake Jarwin said about him. Um, we heard what this offensive line and Zach Martin said about him. They love him. So, you know, it would be dumb for the Dak, for, for the Cowboys to not sign Dak Prescott back. And I'll be honest with you. It's going to be hard for me to be a Cowboy fan and even have this Cowboy channel if Dak Prescott is not the quarterback on his team because it just wouldn't be fair for what they're doing. And, you know, for Dak Prescott to be the first black quarterback to um, be the face of this franchise and, and, you know, Quincy Jones don't count. I mean, I said Quincy Jones. <laughs> Quincy Carter doesn't matter because he wasn't here long enough. But, you know, for Dak Prescott, you know, to be the franchise quarterback, you know, they got to do him right. And, you know, I hate to bring the race card up, but until you show me different, that's what I see right now. 
So they got they got to do their due diligence to get Dak signed. So that period. I don't want to see no franchise tag. If they franchise tag him, um, okay, but you better but you better make sure that you get a contract signed by the July deadline, and because it's ridiculous. Um, also, too, guys, I will be starting a new channel as well, um, E2 Blue Reviews. Um, I'm starting that sometime in the spring, um, so look out for that. But I'll give you guys more information on that. Um, I haven't started it yet, but I will. I'll be reviewing food, cars, anything, just doing reviews on stuff. So um, those of you guys, um, w once I get that up and running, I'll let you guys know. You guys can check that out as well. But in the meantime, between time, y'all, Carson Wentz with the Colts. What y'all think? Let me know what y'all think in the uh, comment section. It's your boy E2Blue. Always keeping it real. Peace out.